Good morning and welcome to another of Tim's Tech Talk videos here at Better Motorsports Canada. Today we're having a look at the 1200 watt EATV and we're homing in on the speed control and how the speed controller is wired. So we're looking at the electrical system. So as we move in on the electrical system, we start of course firstly with the battery. And this battery consists of four 12 volt batteries connected in series to produce an overall voltage of 48 volts. And the overall voltage that you see applied will fluctuate anywhere from about 48 volts to a high of about 54 volts. So you'll see some fluctuation. The negative terminal that you see here coming off of the battery pack goes up here to this connection on the speed controller. And the speed controller, of course, is responsible for determining how much electrical energy is regulated back to the motor to control the actual speed of the bike. The throttle that you see up here sends a signal down through these connectors to the speed controller. The speed controller then interprets that signal and, of course, sends electrical energy down to the motor and then the drivetrain. So the motor is connected directly to the slip differential gear system that you see here to move the wheels. So focusing again on the electrical system, this is a fuse that you see right here and this is coming from the power supply from the battery pack. So from the battery pack to the fuse box, through the fuse, out into the controller and again, we have a secondary redundant fuse right here as a backup through this fuse into the controller. And now we have power available to the controller itself. The controller then sends 48 volts back out through the throttle. And the throttle again has a reverse position, a driver forward position, and of course, you can play with the throttle to increase or decrease your speed. When you look at the electrical connections for the throttle, very important. The green wire that you see here goes through this connector to the black wire. And again, the brown wire on this connector scoots back over to the yellow wire. These wires are coming from the controller. These wires are coming from the throttle. So again, in terms of color coding, black will go through to green, brown will go through to yellow. And it's extremely important that these are the exact color combinations that you see on the controls. Otherwise, the bike won't go anywhere. This secondary three pin controller actually comes from a FET system which is used to control the speed via this throttle. And again, the wiring, very important. So going from the bike to the throttle, this red wire connects to this white wire. The green white wire connects to the black wire. And at the bottom, the black wire connects to the red wire. Now, it's important for you to see that because these wire combinations have to be just as you see here in order for the unit to work. If you alter them or change them, then you're not going to get proper control signal and the bike won't run. Now, these connections themselves, if you're having any difficulty with them, could be hardwired. That is, you could remove the connection and simply splice the black to the green, the brown to the yellow, and this would be fine. So you can also do a hardwire splice at this point if you need to. Typically with the bikes, in terms of uh, maintenance, the throttles may fail if they get hit. So if you're driving down the road and you have some difficulty and perhaps strike a tree, I'm just joking, but you see what I'm saying. If the throttle gets uh, or suffers from an impact, this can of course damage the throttle, the throttle will fail. The throttle may have a problem. Following throttles, the next thing that you might experience would be a speed controller. Uh, because in terms of order of operation, those are the two common fail points for any electric ATV. The throttle or the speed controller. The batteries are not prone to failure. If you suspect that you're having a difficulty with the battery, all you need to do is to take the batteries 
uh, in terms of the assembly of parts. So there are four batteries wired in series. Dismantle them, take them into a auto parts dealer and they'll be able to test the batteries for you one battery at a time to make sure that all the batteries are fully functional because sometimes you may pop a cell in a battery so one of these batteries may have failed you can easily test for that and we can replace it. In terms of the motors themselves to date we have never had a motor failure uh, which speaks to the quality of the motor and the drivetrain. Not a once, never had a single failure on these. So again throttles, speed controller from the speed controller down to the motor in terms of the drive. When you have a look at the horn and the lighting system, they are operated by 12 volts and just tucked in under the speed controller right here. You can see this little gadget, that little guy right there. That is a transformer and it's a step down transformer which reduces the voltage from 48 volts down to 12. So if you wanted to run some extra auxiliaries, you could if you take your power supply directly at the outlet of this fuse, so this fuse is for the 12 volt system, and then you could put a radio on it, anything that you choose. But again, it needs to come from this 12 volt system. You have to be careful because you need to use the common wire from the transformer and supply from this common wire on the transformer a ground, so to speak, to each and every 12 volt load. So. On this bike, the frame is not used for ground in any way, shape, or form. I know on many of your gas bikes, of course, the frame is always used for ground. On e-bikes, it's never used for ground. So very important to know that. It is possible to wire up some extra 12-volt gadgets and gizmos. However, you've got to take your power supply from the step-down transformer that you see here. I hope that answered some of your questions about the electrical operation of a 1200 watt ATV. Have yourselves a great day and enjoy the ride my friends. Bye bye.